we have sessions in here every day. And over the 90-day uh, period, we had over 110 guest speakers in here with about 85 speakers. One of the uh, people who almost missed, I don't think, maybe what, two or three sessions, was my little cohort crime here from Barcelona, but also Italy, um, and that's Jaime. And Jaime is what a company called InfraScan. If you are in the business and you have concerns about your network and its vulnerability, he's put together a team of about 10 people. They've closed some incredible deals with Telefonica Spain, Telefonica Peru, and they're about to do another one that I think he'll talk about today. Jaime has been all over the world during this cohort. He's been in the Far East, he's been in Peru, he's been in Mexico, uh, and he's now here with his team in the back. And you're gonna hear a very interesting program and in what they put together with one of the most powerful vulnerability scanning engines that, that I think I've ever seen. And some of the things that they put in around it, you won't find from any of the competition. With that, I'm gonna turn this over to Johnny. Let me turn that on, did I go? There we go. Come on, yeah, there yeah. we go. The InfraScan. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So Infra is a new company but we were in this project since a few years. So I was investing my money in Spain. Uh, with some of these guys that are here, they were working with me uh, a few years. And we developed this product. We have a long experience in uh, security. I was ethical hackers. I worked with the government, my government, Italy. Uh, we did consultancy in uh, Latin America and in Middle East. Uh, I can't say everything of my experience, but uh, it's because there are some secrets in what I, what I do. But uh, the point is that I was doing also ethical hacking. So in this job, you have to do a lot of vulnerability scanning, vulnerability assessment. That means check the security of the other companies. Since uh, I was in Lebanon last month, for example. So we were. Um, finding vulnerabilities, also new vulnerabilities, doing publications, and uh, also about uh, security appliances. And we found that there are uh, some, this, something missing. Vulnerability scanner are not enough, because in vulnerability assessment, too many things are made by the analysts, and they do mistakes, they spend a lot of time, maybe they're tired, maybe they, they're drunk <laughs> last night. <laughs> So uh, I don't think we really have competitors because these guys, they do vulnerability scanning. They agree that they do quite well, just they don't do everything in the vulnerability assessment. Vulnerability assessment, there are many things to do. There are information gathering, uh, scanning of course, but maybe they are not so good in application scanning, so you have to change the product to something else. You have, to do very, you have to verify the information, so you have to exploit, you have to really hack it. So uh, ethical hackers normally really hack the computers uh, to prove that they do that. And that is a lot of boring parts like finding the solutions or the reports. So we were thinking, let's do all together, all automated. Automation is the future. I don't see humans in our future, especially in these things. So everything automated with a machine, you avoid the human mistakes. You use less time because for every single step here, a human use two days for some machines. We use, we need only a few hours. So you can save time and you can save human resources. That of course means money. So our solution, even if it looks like a hardware solution, is an hardware solution, but it's a software as a service. Because we uh, have clients already, and they ask an hardware, but we rent it. And the license is fine one year, so they have to pay more. So now we have granted our future because we have a really few clients, so we are, we are relaxing a bit more. So the little cube, uh, we have an example over there if you want to see later. This uh, is an announcement that I didn't do yet, but it's, um, it's for the new client. It's the government of Peru. And they buy this machine, so nobody steal it, basically. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we have already a big client that is using it. There's uh, Telefonica, uh, one of the biggest ISP in the world. And uh, we have a solution, a bigger one for uh, that we propose for Qatar. And so we we developed this, but we have also the the cloud version. So 
I want to tell you a story that just to talk about what that what we said before. That uh, when I was in Saudi Arabia for a big company, I don't say the name, but the biggest one, <laughs> owned by the government, right. was the biggest act in the history, the biggest act. You can Google it, you'll find what it was. So it was a 30,000 computer were hacked, 30,000 the day after, 30,000 employees were without a computer. So they had to order their hard drives from Singapore one month to arrive without both. So a disaster, total, total disaster. So that uh, damage of billions. And they had some solutions, but they didn't use it well, or maybe it's because this solution, they just do scanning. They get to do a vulnerability assessment. It's not enough. So I get to investigate in this. I'm the guy that found how they hack it. I'm the guy that found the, the guys that hack it. I showed the face this guy did. The way I ordered corporation there was someone with the government of the United States but I found it and I found it because their solution were not enough so I started to develop the infra in this in this context there because I needed to investigate for a big activity that normally you do in two years but they didn't have two years to know the solution because they were angry and they wanted to fight to fight back they wanted to use normal weapons not, not the technological ones <laughs> So I can say maybe I saved the other <laughs> country because I, at the end I found out that it was not really the country attacking them. But the point is that their solutions were not practical. They were not easy for them. They needed something easier, something that automate everything. So our solution is more easy. Even my secretary can use it. Um, it's nice, it's not ugly like the other solutions. But um, yes, every time, uh, just give your report with the, with the level of the risk, an explanation, a graphic, and a solution, a real actual solution. So it doesn't give you a link external. It's in many languages you can use with our clients. And it's easy to use. So basically, why we are different? Especially because we validate the information. So we are not a vulnerability scanner. We secure the data, so the information in the appliance is secure, it doesn't go to the cloud. And this is what they like it. And, okay, the pizza, I did not find another image, but it's because corporate license. Uh, I was thinking about, you know, Pizza Hut, and on Wednesday that you can eat as much as you can, you know. For one year, you can use it as much as you want. You don't have to pay, like, uh, another uh, big assessment company. Uh, every time you click it, and then you finish. So, so 